good morning dear children today we are going to continue the characteristics of sound in the last class we studied about the first characteristic of a sound that is loudness loudness depend on amplitude today we are going to study the second property or not the property second characteristics that is the pitch or shrillness the word pitch is very familiar to all of you it is most of the cases in most of the cases it is related with the music high pitch and low pitch yes that is the pitch pitch means <clears throat> we have to identify or distinguish two sounds with this or we can identify an acute note and a grave note of same loudness two waves have the same loudness from that way we can identify that particular wave which is grave note and which is the acute note or the shrill note that means pitch is depend on frequency pitch is depend on frequency suppose a grave sound a grave note has low frequency and a shrill note or a an acute note has high frequency there is a diagram in your text in page number 169 low pitch notes that means its frequency is less and high pitch note that means frequency is great or larger suppose in the case of a low pitch suppose this is a low pitch graph suppose here this is one wave is completing here the frequency is f it is low pitch another case okay the same thing here first wave and it is the second wave that means the frequency is 2f it is high pitch okay that means you have to understand that pitch is always depend on frequency and you have to remember pitch is a subjective property and objective nature of frequency objective nature is frequency subjective nature of pitch pitch is a subjective nature and the frequency is objective in nature okay that you have to again listen i am saying about the pitch pitch means it is one of the characteristic of sound by which an acute note can be distinguished from a grave or flat note of same loudness pitch of a note or pitch is always depends on frequency 
If the frequency is less, that means that is low pitch. If the frequency is high, that means that is the high pitch. You have to remember one thing. Pitch is not same as the frequency. Okay? Pitch is subjective and the frequency is objective. And frequency is a measurable quantity. Okay? Frequency is a measurable quantity. Okay? Can you follow me? Next, we are going to <coughs> study the third property that is the quality of a sound. That is one of the important term that is the third term that is or timber quality or timber it is the third characteristic of sound listen carefully quality is the characteristics of a sound we can distinguish two sounds of same loudness and same pitch but emitted from any two different instruments can you follow me Another important term or another important characteristic that is the quality of a sound. Quality means we can distinguish two sounds of same loudness and same pitch produced by two instruments. Suppose violin is producing a sound and Tabla is producing another sound. Both the sound or both the sound waves have the same loudness and same pitch. Then how can we distinguish or how can we identify the wave is from violin or that wave is from tabla? Okay. So this quality is depend on wave form. Okay. That means, I already told, we can identify or we can distinguish two waves of two different instruments producing with the same loudness and same pitch by the waveform. That means, each instrument producing waves in a definite pattern. Can you follow me? There is an important question in the text. Two waveforms are given. How can we identify or how can we distinguish these two waves? There the answer is quality. We can identify two waves of same loudness and same pitch. Only due to the quality of that sound. That means the quality of sound is always depend on waveform. Can you follow me? It is very very important form, uh, important point. The quality of a sound is depends on waveform. Just recall what I am saying. That is, in the case of loudness, we told loudness is depend on amplitude. Pitch or shrillness depend on frequency. And the quality or timber depend on waveform. Can you follow me? It is very very important. You have to learn these three points very clearly. Again listen. Again I am saying. That means quality. That is an important thing. Quality of a sound depends on the waveform. The quality of musical sounds depends on the notes or the waveform produced 
by inch okay that is very very important characteristic and factor loudness is a characteristic its factor is amplitude pitch is a characteristic and its factor is frequency quality or timbre is a characteristic that is depend on waveform here one more point you have to remember what is the difference between music and noise simple music is pleasant noise is unpleasant simply we can say that in the case of music regular wave forms are there but in the case of a noise irregular wave forms are there can you follow me and in the case of a musical note the wave form is regular and in the case of a noise the wave form is irregular and in the case of a music the sound level that is lies in between 10 decibel to 30 decibel can you follow me in the case of a musical sound the sound varies sound level varies in between 10 decibel and 30 decibel and the sound waves above 20 decibel continuously a sound level is above 20 decibel then we can consider that is a noise can you follow me okay so you have to remember what is the difference between music and noise music it is pleasant to hear and noise not pleasant to and in the case of a music that is regular wave and in the case of a noise that is irregular wave form okay and the musical sound the sound level lies in between 10 decibel to 30 decibel and the continuous sound level is above 20 decibel then that is noise that means you have to remember in the case of a music the sound level is low but in the case of a noise the sound level is high okay it is very very important you have to learn what are the characteristics of sound okay study well one question is on the board it is from our textbook page number 155 question number 12 here is a graph is given one displacement distance graph is given and two waves are there one is marked with blue color and the other with the red color here the question please take your text and page number 155 question number 12 figure below shows the distance displacement graph of two waves a and b compare the amplitude and the wavelength of the two waves this is the question here two waves are given the distance displacement graph is given we have to compare the amplitude and the wavelength of these two waves here you know the amplitude means that is the perpendicular distance from the zero disturbance line to the crust and here if you watch for a amplitude a amplitude of wave a that is equal to 10 cm can you follow me okay is it clear and here we can note or we can notice the amplitude of b that is perpendicular displacement from the zero disturbance line to the crust that is equal to 5 so i will write amplitude 
of wave b is equal to 5 cm the question says we have to compare that means we have to take the ratio so i will write amplitude of wave a ratio amplitude of wave b okay here for wave a that is equal to 10 and for b 10 ratio 5 then q ratio 1 this is the ratio of the amplitude can you follow me this is the ratio of amplitude okay then we have to find out the ratio of the wavelength or the compare the wavelength next we have to find out the wavelength then the wavelength means the distance covered by one wave here the wave is completed 8 first wave and for the second wave it is completed 16 then wavelength lambda a ratio lambda b that's equal to in the case of first one that's equal to 8 ratio second one 16 one is to 2 this is the answer okay is it clear in page number 164 question number 10 okay please do that question in your notebook and send the answer to me today itself okay don't forget okay study me